subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this one, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use Microsoft Publisher. And the version I have in front of me is the 365 version. There's been lots of requests um, to create a video on Publisher um, to show how to use some of the templates Publisher has um, to create your document. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do this today, how to access the templates to create a document in Publisher. So before I continue, please um, like this video, please um, subscribe to my channel and um, you can also leave comments below letting me know if there's any other videos you want me to do on anything IT or anything geeky. So let's continue. So I have Microsoft Publisher 365 in front of me opened up. So I've gone on the left side here, there's three options, is home, new and open. And what I want to do is go to new because I want to create a new document from a template which is already in Publisher. Now, once I do that, once I click on new, it will bring up this screen here. But now there's two options you can select. You can choose a template from the Office um, website. Okay, it will download it into Publisher for you or it will, you've got a second option here, which is the built-in option, which are a preset templates already there for you to use in uh, Microsoft Publisher 365. So if I go to the first option first, Office 365. Now at the top, um, <clears throat> there's three, normally there's three um, options to select from. There's the blank A4 portrait, which is probably the most common form of document you can select in that template. There's the landscape version, which is A4, and there's also more blank page sizes um, you can choose from. So if I click on the more blank page sizes, so you can see exactly what happens when you do that, then you can go into specifics here and choose a specific page size based on whatever document you want to do here at the top so you can scroll across if you want a b5 landscape one here you, you choose that and then you click on create on the right side and change some of the options or customize some of the options here if i scroll down and um, there's different publication types you can choose so obviously advertisements uh, binder divider tabs booklets you can create those or, or a template for those um, you scroll across you can even create a template for an email or emails that which you send envelopes so on and so forth even postcards here which are probably really common um, doing postcards in publisher posters small publications and you've got some more even detailed ones here which are specific manufacturer ones uh, which you can use here so for scroll to the top go back to home um, I'm back here now and then I can go to office here look. so in office you have a search uh, box so you can search for online templates you in from office.com and um, it's obviously brought back some suggested searches here so you can do an event banner here baby photo album address book and these are the suggested ones that it's brought back up so if you scroll to the next section you've got personal and you've got different um, templates in the personal category if you go back design sets you've got different categories in there or different templates you can use labels different ones in there um, scroll back and uh, then we go all the way to cards and you've got different types of cards for the obviously different occasions you can choose here and then if I go back one more time and then you can search online for different ones there uh, let me do a search for Eid cards. See if it brings something back. Oh, not cards. Let me take the word card out. Type in Eid. No, nothing for Eid card. But I guess if you do a search for cards, and then you can customize that card for a specific occasion. Um, so I might use this one and change it. Let me do this one for the purpose of this video. So you, once you're happy with the template, double click on it and it will um, go away and start downloading your template. So obviously this is the front bit. Um, this is obviously the next bit there. So all you need to do now, the template's already downloaded, change the options. So if you don't like this bit here, you change this to whatever you want. 
change this to whatever you want. Go here, do the same here. You can change that, change that. So anything that's editable, you can change this and you can also place your stamp in here. So it gives you a nice little template which you can use. Let me go back, file, and go back to new. Um, because we've not focused on this section, the built-in section here. If you click on that, you've got different types of built-in templates you can use as well. So um, for this one, I will choose a flyer. So let's say I'm choosing or creating a flyer. So click on flyer and you've got different, a huge selection of flyers you can choose from in this bit here. So you can do event flyers, marketing flyers, real estate flyers, blank sized flyers. There. So let's say my one, uh, mine's going to be a marketing one. Um, what I can do is again choose from one of these here, or click on the all marketing folder here, and it will bring back a a lot more uh, templates for flies that you can choose. So I'm going to choose any one. I'm going to choose this one here, quadrant. Click on create here, and it will open up another template for you. Um, to change what's already there. So that's in just a dead simple way of um, customizing templates. You can change the writing in here, look. Um, it's dead easy. It's not hard at all. But it's knowing which template you want to use. Uh, obviously that template must be um, appropriate for whatever you're doing the template for. It must be eye-catching, obviously. It must be professional and um, must link back to the target audience. So that's a real useful way um, of creating a document in Microsoft Publisher. So this was a quick snapshot of how to access templates, how to open up a template in Publisher and how to customize your document based on the template you've used. Um, because not many people know how to use templates in Publisher, so how to do a greetings card for example, how to do an events banner, how to do a photo album, how to do a postcard. So I'm hoping this video will get you started in using Publisher knowing how to access the different templates within it. Hope this video has helped, uh, please like, subscribe and share.